All right, boxers, Trey here. Exciting day. Actually, last night was an exciting night, but it led into today, making today exciting as well. <laughs> Anyways, iOS 11 just came out with a new app store. So we're going to go over that. We're going to talk about how it's going to affect you and me, all developers out there who are making games in the app store. And I have to say, I'm really excited about this. Um, okay, so here I am looking at iOS 11 on my iPhone. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. We got a different icon for the app store, but besides that, not too much change here. All right, so here we go. Now it looks pretty cool. And you'll notice the first thing we have is today. There's a whole new section here. Also, they finally did something that I've really wanted them to do for a long time that separate apps and games. Now, I was really hoping they would make two different app stores, an app store and a game store. I've been wanting this forever because about half of the apps downloaded on the app store are games. But they came up with a pretty good solution. They do actually separate it down here with games and apps and they feature games first down here, which is super sweet. But we're going to start here at the beginning at today. So previously, they just featured games every Thursday. They would come out with new games. And they used to call it new and noteworthy. Then they called it like best games or something. And I think most recently they were calling it new games we love. I love it. Now in the today section, they're actually focusing on a new game they're going to promote every single day. They also still do the new games we love. We'll get to that in a second. Now I'm really excited to see what they did today. I haven't looked at this, but for like two seconds. And oh, wow. Yay. Minecraft. Wow. Because everyone in the world doesn't already have Minecraft. Wow. Okay. Um, is this Minecraft 2 or something? No. This is the big one. It's the original. Wow. Actually, let's see. Long anticipated better together update. Okay. It's a whole new update here that people have been really waiting to get a hold of. Wow. All right, so fair play to them then. And also it's like the most you know popular game ever. So I guess that makes sense. But I am excited to see if they start featuring indies here and independent developers, smaller developers. And I think they definitely will. I think that'll be a great spotlight for people. Of course, they're doing the app of the day. But notice, guys, once again, games are featured above apps. And they have all the data on this. I'm assuming that people probably spend more time in their games than they do in the apps. Um, all right, now they're also doing a big push with AR gaming. Let's click on this and see what happens. So it opens up. That's a really nice animation. I like that. Opens up this new section. Um, a new dimension of gaming has arrived. Now, one quick thing on AR. I'm very surprised that they have not released the glasses yet because you know they're working on some. And as cool as it is using your phone and doing this, it's a lot cooler when you have glasses on. Then they have the daily list. Okay, so this is just like some... Put your knowledge uh, to the test. So I guess this is trivia type stuff, um, etc. And look, this goes on, you know, pretty big. Oh, now we go down to the game of the day from yesterday. That's really interesting, and that is from an indie, right? I don't think that this game, Thimbleweed Park, is from a really big studio. So, all right, that's cool. You can keep going down and, and see who they did previously. We have play these games right. Meow. And uh, play games, learn facts. Look, guys, I'm happy with this. Maybe it's tailor-made towards me. And let me know in the comments below if yours is primarily games. But this is, like, mainly games. I mean, it's like, I haven't seen much apps, but I don't download many apps. I mainly download games. So maybe it's tailor-made for me, but that's a really good sign. So now let's go over to the game section here. Go up to the top. All right, so you can see they have features up here at the top. Just a few different games. Like this AR, they're doing a real big AR push. So first off, we have their feature games at the top. New games we love here. Um, so this is just like they did before. And I really like this, guys, because you have three, and then you can cycle through them. All right, and I was really worried about that because I thought they were just going to show three, and then that was it for new games we love, and we go down to top paid and top free. I thought it was going to be the same way, where it was just going to be three, and that's it. But I mean, guys, this is great. Like Boom Gang, that might be in the total chart placement in the top 20 or something like that. Now, we know from experience, people don't really scroll that far, right? If your game's in the number 20 spot, people aren't going to scroll down there that far. But they're definitely going to scroll this far on the games chart to see what's in the top three right now in the games chart. Then, of course, you just swipe over to see more. So I'm really happy about this. I mean, I'm not sure Snake versus Block. Last time I checked, that was like in the 20th position or something like that. That's primary placement for an app in the 20th of all apps right now. Speaking of, really interesting, you cannot even see the full charts anymore that I have been able to find. So here we go. We go on and on. I do not see the indie section. That's the only thing I'm a little bummed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look. Awesome. They do. They have, let's see if it has the full store. That would be awesome. Yes, look at that. That is killer. So they have the full store listed. 
with favorites and all that kind of stuff and multiple features. All right, so anyway. <laughs> That's the App Store, really excited about that. I think it's a really good opportunity for us making games. I think we're gonna have more visibility and especially a game that rockets to the top, you're gonna have placement above everyone else, above all other apps and that is pretty cool. So I'm excited for iOS 11, I think it's a good thing. It is controversial, we'll have to wait and see, but you know, Apple's not stupid. They make smart decisions. I think they know what they're doing. All right guys, Trey Smith, see you later. Like and subscribe.